assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel today we are starting cambridge primary science learners book 5 unit 5 forces and magnetism in this unit we will learn about different types of forces and how they work i will explain everything in a simple way so you can understand easily forces and magnetism 5.1 gravity normal forces and applied forces Gravity and normal forces. Gravity is very important to our everyday lives. Without gravity, we would fly off the earth. We would all have to be tied down all the time. If you kicked a ball, it would fly off forever. Gravity works on both objects at rest and objects that are moving. Gravity is the force which attracts or pulls all objects towards the earth. A normal force is a support force. A normal force is made on an object that is in contact with another object. The objects do not move. For example, if you put a book on the table, the book is at rest. Are there any forces acting on the book? The book will make or exit a downward force on the table. This force is gravity pulling the book downwards, but the book does not fall. So something must be pushing it up. This is called the normal force. We can't see these forces at work, but we can show them on a force diagram. Force diagrams. We can show the direction of forces on a force diagram. Each force is shown as an arrow. When the forces are equal, the arrows are the same size. Forces act in pairs. In the picture, the book exits a downward force on the table. This is gravity. The arrow shows the force of gravity pointing down. The table exerts an upward force on the book. This is the normal force. The arrow for the normal force points up. The two forces are in opposite directions. The two forces are equal so the arrows are the same size. What are applied forces? In the photograph at the beginning of this topic, the children are kicking the ball. This is an applied force. In the picture, Marcus is pushing the table. This is an also an applied force. An applied force is any force that is applied to another object or person. In this example, Marcus applies force on the table by pushing it. In this picture, Zara is closing the door. She pulls the door towards her. The pulling action is an applied force. From these two examples, you can see that an applied force happens when an object is pushed or pulled by another object. The other object can be a person or a machine or a machine part. Question answers. Question number one. For each picture A, B and D, identify the movement as a push or a pull or both. In picture A, the boy is pushing the ball. When the boy kicks the ball, he applies force by pushing it forward with his foot. This action causes the ball to move in the direction of the applied force, making it a push movement. In picture B, the movement is a pull because the girl is applying force to stretch the rubber band by pulling it in opposite directions with her hands. In picture D, the movement involves both push and pull because the woman presses the dough to flatten and shape it and she also pulls it while needing to mix it properly. Part B. How do you know these are all applied forces? They are applied forces because they involve a push or pull by someone or something. Question number two. Copy and complete the sentences about picture C. Zara pushes down on the bike's pedals. This is an applied force. This movement pulls the chain, which is another applied force. This moves the bike's wheel. Question number three. Describe how you use an applied force to get up off your chair. To get up off your chair, you can use an applied force by pushing down on the armrests or the chair seat with your hands. Your legs then apply a force against the floor to lift your body upwards from the chair. 
In this unit, we learned about different forces like gravity, which pulls objects towards the earth, and normal force, which acts opposite to gravity to support objects. Applied forces are the pushes and pulls we use to move or change objects like kicking a ball, stretching a rubber band, or kneading dough. Understanding these forces helps us see how things move and interact in our daily lives. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about forces. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.